Good morning, children. How are you all doing? Hope all are safe at home. This is Rocky Teacher, and today we are going to learn to write a new cursive letter. Let's see if you can guess which letter it is. Rocky Teacher has gathered a few objects that begin with this letter. This is oil used for cooking and this is oil again but this is for your hair. This is an onion. This is octagon. Orange color marker and some olives. Did you guess which letter it is? Yes children, you're right. It's small letter O and O says oh, oh. Very good. Let's sing the song of letter O. Let's take a look at the objects once again. This is oh, oh, oil. This oil is used for cooking. And this is a bottle of oil too. This is for our hair. It is hair oh, oh, oil. This is oh, oh, onion. A vegetable. And what shape is this? Which is eight sides? It's an oh, oh, octagon. This is an oh, oh, orange color marker. And here in this bowl, I have some oh, oh, olive. Olive is a fruit. Let's see some O letter words. O is for Oh, oh, orange. Orange is a round, juicy fruit with a thick orange colored skin. Next, we have orange color. And this is an orange colored crayon. O is for oh, oh. On, we switch on the lights in the dark. O is for oh, oh, off. We switch off the lights when we go to sleep. O is for oh, oh, ostrich. An ostrich is a very large bird from Africa. It cannot fly. But it runs very fast. O is for oh, oh, otter. An otter is a small animal with brown fur. It has short legs and a long tail. You know children, otters swim very well and they love to eat fish. O is for oh, oh, octopus. An octopus is a soft sea creature. It has eight long arms. They are called tentacles, which it uses to catch food. O is for oh, oh, onion. An onion is an underground vegetable. And it has a strong, sharp smell and taste. O is for oh, oh, olive. An olive is a small oval fruit. It is yellowish green in color or black in color. We use olives in salads, on pizzas, and Pasta and we can also use it to
to make olive oil. O is for oh, oh, omelet. An omelet is a dish of beaten eggs. It is cooked in a frying pan and you can serve it plain or you can fold in half with some filling inside it. You know, I love my omelet with cheese and mushroom filling. O is for oh, oh, orchard. An orchard is an area of land where fruit trees are grown. This is an apple orchard. And this is an orange orchard. O is for oh, oh, office. An office is a place where people work, sitting at their desk. O is for oh, oh, oxygen. All living creatures need oxygen to live. We breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. Tell me children. Who takes in this carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen? Yes, it is the plants. They give out oxygen. O is for oh, oh, origami. Origami is an art of folding paper into decorative shapes or figures or designs. O is for oh, oh, October. October is the 10th month of the year and it comes after September. So let's write small letter O that is lowercase O in our Vikas small cursive book. This is page number 62. Before we start we will write here C W that is classwork and we'll write the date here at the bottom of the page. It is 21 dot 7 dot 20. Now we can see a picture here. O for oh, oh, orange. Let's draw a picture here in this box. So today, Raka teacher will show you how to draw an octopus. Imagine an upside down egg shape or a light bulb. And let's make a curve from here. It goes a little flat at the top and you come down and stop here. Now we will draw seven dots. An octopus has eight arms. So I will show you a trick how to draw the arms easily. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have got seven dots in a curve closer to the head. Now from here let's draw the first arm. So I will go from here, go up and twirl and swirl as I wish. Come closer to this line and connect to the first dot. So this is our arm number one. Now let's go for another one. So you make a curve like this and you twirl like this and come back and connect with the dot number two. So you have got two arms now. The third arm goes like this. Twirl and curl and back to the next dot. And then we have the fourth arm come down here and curl up back to the next dot. Arm number 
number 5 comes down like this. Takes a turn, closer and joins the next dot. Here we have another arm coming out like a letter J. And you go back and, and connect to the next dot. Let's make another J like this, like an umbrella's handle, turn back and connect to the next dot. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have one more arm left. Let's take it higher up over here. Here we go up and curl and come back and join with the head. Now the octopus is known for its big eyes. So let's make two zeros here and color the inside here. And a smiley. Let's give this guy some spots. Here, a couple here, here are some spots, here, and on its arms, here a few. And there he is, our octopus. Isn't he cute? Now let's write small letter O. First, we will begin on the dotted lines. We will practice here first and complete these three lines and then go to the next one. So from the second blue line, we go up, make a curve, Come back, touch the second blue line, take a turn, complete the circle and make a small loop from inside and you come out and touch the top blue line. Slanting line up, make a curve, you come back on the same curve, touch the second blue line, join the circle up. Make a loop from inside and come out. Slanting line up, curve, come back, touch the second blue line, take a turn up and make a loop and touch the second blue line. This way you will complete tracing on all the three lines and go to the next line. Now Rocky teacher will show you how to write letter O without a tracing line. Start from the second blue line, you go slanting line up, you make a curve, come back, take a turn, join up and make a loop. Once again, slanting line up, you make a curve, come down, Touch the second blue line, join the circle up and make a loop and come out and touch the top blue line. Slanting line up, curve, come back, turn, join up and a loop. So this way you will complete the CW page and the next page is your homework page. Here you will write H W. So you all continue writing and have a great day ahead. Bye children.